Hi, welcome and thank you for coming to my solo show, Finding, at M Galleries PNA. My name is Terry Fraser and I'm an artist who likes to find new ways to express myself through two-dimensional and three-dimensional artworks. I am very lucky I get to live in the beautiful woods of Hunterdon County. And so a lot of my work that you will see is extremely influenced by my surroundings as well as the mundane and I like to use memories as well. So in my paintings I use a uh, lot of grids and the grids I found on my two dimensionals I wanted to work to get to a more three dimensional experience with painting and in college I explored that but I didn't achieve it and while COVID came I was able to take time to explore it even more and had um, a lot of searching new elements and ways to work with different tools and uh, had a lot of flops and then I found the wire grid. I love the wire grid. The wire grid represents the grids in my paintings. Uh, it represents new ways of seeing how the grid plays within, you know, surroundings and I like the tension that it helps to add to some of the storytelling that I like to have in my artwork. So I started using this wire grid and uh, encaustics with tissue paper that was just lying around the house and I collaged it all together to create something that looked an awful lot like a pillow. Uh, and so it started off with the caged pillow series and I uh, found that the collaging was also another wonderful layer to storytelling and I could bring in some more of the mundane into it. So I started to collage with tea bags from in the studio and some crappy sketches that I didn't like. I would incorporate them into the collage as well as whatever else I could find lying around that went into the collage and I would bring that into the uh, wire grid and the caged pillows. So I started doing all of this and found I wanted to do more and because it's encaustics I went outside and started to work in my garage with the doors open so that the fumes from everything had a place to go. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick little side note here. You'll uh, hear the cicadas in the background. This summer was the year of the 17-year locust, and they were pretty loud. So I have some small works, which are a translation of the grids, that I was, the wire grids that I was working on, as well as they're all nature influenced and I also have some of the cicada wings as an homage to the cicadas that uh, took over our summer uh, and they're little small five by five approximately works up, up on the wall. So uh, back to the grids, the grids, the grid, wire grids and the cage that tension of the cage and a pillow feel uh, was something I absolutely love. It told enough of a story for me that I, I felt in an abstract way that I could share it and people could feel the tensions between the things that I have and whatever they have going on in their lives, as well as working at finding a comfort so I also found I needed to do more. I was wanted it to be more three-dimensional. And so the circles that I have in my artwork, I, I'm still not sure what they are. They are like little Enzos. I think they're like a breadth of uh, a oneness of a being. And they really are representative, I guess, of where I'm at in the moment of creating them. 
So I wanted to create that three-dimensionally, and so I started the Cage Circle series, doing the same elements and techniques that I was doing with my caged pillows, which were the collaging and uh, weaving, which the wire grid lent itself you know, really beautifully to. And I used uh, all natural fibers for the weaving in any of my works. It could be jute, cotton twine, or wool uh, yarn. So it's all natural and can uh, be used with the heat from the encaustics. So, but while I was making these cage circles, I really started to enjoy how the light was playing coming through the the circles themselves. And so I decided that I needed to venture out even more and create a caged light series. So what are the things that I absolutely adore about the caged light series is how it reflects the way I feel when I am sitting in my backyard or in my front yard looking at the light that filters through the leaves, you know how it kind of dance and giggles its way through. So that joyful moment along with the tension of the wire I find is another wonderful storytelling moment. And so I have my caged lights as well. So I want to thank you again for coming.